what up what up beautiful people welcome back to the channel today we're going to go over the best defense in ncaa 25 and exactly how to break it down if you're new to the channel hit that red subscribe button make sure that you turn your notifications on all my ogs we are now a full-time youtuber going to be bringing you guys tips and tricks on the regular so hit that notification bell let's get right into it we're going to be coming out in any defense but we're going to start off with cover four quarters i'm just going to give you guys a basic breakdown okay so if you enjoy these type of live breakdowns let me know by dropping a like on the video okay the more likes the more videos come out the faster and we're going to be streaming at least once a week so make sure your notification bell is on we're going to come out in the inside zone so say your opponent is in a small formation what i mean by small formation is heavy personnel two tight ends three tight ends all you want to do is anybody not on the line of scrimmage your front four your front three depending on what defense you are running anybody in a zone will run commit okay so if your opponent is trying to be run heavy stretches rpos all that we're going to go push the r1 rb button down on the right stick that's going to run commit now anybody that is manned up we're going to man up him we're going to man up him we're going to man up him i know it seems like a lot but i'm just giving you the basic all these people right here are manned up all these zones are in the run fit okay so this purple he's going to run commit this purple he's going to run commit everybody else is going to play on their person i ran commit now, when they hike the ball, you're going to see. Hike the ball. You got all these people flying to help for the run. But then you have your man coverage people still playing man coverage. Okay? So, the zones are going to fly down. Okay? So, we ran commit. It's a run. So, the people on man coverage, they all came down. The zones are going to come down. But we're going to do that same exact concept. I want you to pay attention to this. So, we're going to go here. We're going to take him if you want to do your secondary you push yy or triangle triangle that's all secondary safeties cornerbacks on the field okay so i'm gonna go here you can do this super fast so if you think that you don't got that much time you do now the blues are gonna run commit because they in zones so him this blue over here this purple my user all gonna run commit so you don't want to get beat or anything like that. You can go ahead and double man them up if you want to on that side. This guy is going to run commit. So you have him manned up on that tight end. Him manned up over there. I have both of them manned up on the same person over there. And then we're going to push R1, RB, run commit. So if it's a pass, they will play the person that they are manned up on. But right here, we're going to go ahead, hike the ball. Boom. All them people are going to run commit. Help with the run. Now we're going to pass and do that same exact setup. Don't matter the defense. So we're going to come out here and we're going to pass. We're going to run commit, do the same exact setup. Cover four quarters. It don't matter. Cover three, cover four. Okay. So boom, we're going to go to PA fork. Okay. So we're going to go here, man these people up. Two on him. Him. Look how fast I set that up. We got that one zone over there. Put him over there. You keep a shade over the top. You can do whatever you want to do. We have this zone. We have this zone, and now we're going to push R1, RB, and see it says run commit on the right stick. You got left, you got right, you got gas pass, you got run up the middle. We're going to do run up the middle, right stick down. So how I have this set up right now, everybody in the zone should be run committing. So he should come down, he should come down, and then it's like a bluff blitz. They're going to bail back out. But all my manned up people are going to play man up, okay? So... Once we come down and hike the ball, you're going to see blood blitzes. The people manned up are going to still play their area like they are supposed to. And we shade it over the top. Make sure that you get the ebook or become a Patreon member. It's a lot of tips and tricks every year in NCAA and Madden. So as you can see, my two zones, they come down in bluff blitz. So that's the run commit. Oh, it's not a run. So you can click onto them and get a pass, but you also have all these people manned up. Remember, we have two people on him. You can do shade inside, shade outside, all that. Two people on him. 
We have him coming out here. He's manned up. And then this zone right here broke open, which would have had to be my user. But I was right here in the middle of the field, right there. That was supposed to be my user. Okay? So we're going to do it again. This is the pass. So we're going to come out here. We're going to set it up. Boom. Man him up. Boom. Go ahead. Cross man him. Put him on him. And this is how our play is looking. Okay? So now you can go here. If you want to, you can manually shade. So I can push Y or triangle. Go to him. And then we're going to push X. Shade right. So we want this guy to run down and play to the outside. So I break my user and I'm going to watch that route. Now we're going to run commit. Okay. So I'm going to come right here. Boom. I'm going to come out here straight. I can see him going over there. And now we got an uh, interception and somebody was bracketed on him. Okay. So I individually shaded right there and I helped. So whatever adjustment you make, you adjust to it. So remember, he is coming from across the field, manned up, but I ran commit. But he's still going to play great defense. So I ran command. He's running across the field trying to get to the outside. So I baited the quarterback. So I baited the quarterback like I was going to help with that route. Okay. And everybody else is playing their assignment. He throws it. Boom. Kick. Okay. So look at this again. You can see this guy right here. I didn't man him up. So he's going to go with the run commit at first. Sees it's a pass. Go back to his zone. Boom. Now he's underneath the route. But on top of that, I had this guy manned up. So he's over the top of him. Okay? So now we're going to set it up more regular. So we're going to come right here. We're going to do people on the side of him. So, so Y or triangle. Then go to individual. We're going to do X shade right. We want him outside. So this guy is going to be on the tight end shaded out and for corner routes. Everybody else is going to play regular. Okay? So now we're going to run commit. We're going to help with the run. You can move the Lineman, anything that you want to. You're going to have your good pass rush. Boom. Come down. They're going to bluff blitz. Great defense. Everything is locked down. This is the best tip. Any defense that you're comfortable with, this will work with. So as you can see, we got him shaded to the outside. That's what we're going to look at first. Him shaded to the outside. Outside leverage. Look at him. He's breaking on the corner route. This guy manned up from the inside. So he's going to get inside leverage. Boom, if he throws that, he's perfect for a post. So he has inside leverage, manned up. I didn't even have to do shading. I shaded one person, and because of where he's playing from, he's going to get inside leverage. He's locking that down. Now over here, he's going to run commit. He's going to have inside leverage. So if he does an in or something, that run commit is going to make him get underneath. So he's bracketed. So it's kind of like a bluff blitz. It works both ways. I'm over here watching this second route. Through the middle of the field, he's bluff blitzing underneath him, and then the pressure is coming. So this is just an all-out great defense, and is going to force your opponent not to be able to run the ball. It's going to take one dimension off of his game, and he's going to have to pass the ball. But he's going to have to figure out a way to stop it.